What's up, Scentsy friends? Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. This is Daz and Scents with Chris, and I'm Chris, your independent Scentsy consultant. So I am going to do my next video here with the second part of my warehouse flash sale haul. Um, it's a small one, and I've got the warmer and scent of the month. They Everything came in today. Um, I don't think this is going to get uploaded after, but You'll probably see it tomorrow, which is why I still have the same shirt on because I just recorded the Bring Back My Bar video and I had to break because I had a client to take care of. So I figured, you know what? My schedule is packed the next two days. It would be very late at night by the time I would get to record another video. So I thought, I have the not time now. I'm going to do it now. So I'm going to start with the rest of my flash sale. Like I said, it's not much. Um, ugh, it's just a small box, so let me just get rid of this paper that's in here. And actually, the reason I went back in, as I said before, was because I was hoping, I don't know, maybe I can get the, that, um, the dish soap that I wanted and then I'm so mad at myself now because I was watching another video and of a subscriber and I apologize I forgot the name of the channel um she actually was smart and went back in and got like six of the bakery or maybe ten I don't know I should have just went back if I had taken the time to look at the bars that were in those because it had the vanilla waves in it, that breakfast in bed. Um, surprisingly, I liked almost every one of those bars and I would have loved to had 50 million of the vanilla waves in the breakfast in bed. But anyway, I don't. So. On my second time in for that um, the dish soap that I didn't get, I picked up some body care. Um, one of these is for a girl I work with. Um, so I figured, you know what, and I may go back to the clearance section and pick up the scrub because I thought I got the... Cloudberry Dreams. I got the body cream, the body wash, and the hand cream. I may go back in clearance and grab the body scrub because it's a complete gift set. And I thought, you know what? That's really nice. I could use that to give as a gift to somebody. I can... What else can I do with that? Do it as a thank you. Whatever. I don't know. I just thought it was a nice idea to have the set. You know. Whatever. I'm crazy. You all know I'm crazy. So anyway, and then I picked up these other two body creams in It's Love. Um, I believe this smells really nice. I'm not going to open it because they're sealed, but I think it's a nice fruity smell. So... I think I'll keep one of those for myself because I need a body cream. I also picked up three bars of Big Hero 6. And the reason I picked these up, because I did take a brief second to look at the scent notes in here, and I thought this would be something I like because it's supposed to smell like marshmallows. Marshmallows, it's fruity, fruity marshmallowy. This is nice. So, I only picked up three bars. So, we'll see how that goes. But it does. It has a nice fruity marshmallow scent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. I also picked up the pumpkin mini warmer for Halloween. Um, this is really cheap. I don't, I can't remember how much it was. In fact, they also had the um, paranormal pumpkin, 
which I do like, but the only thing I don't like about it is the front of it's so open that that bulb could really blast you in the eyeballs. And that's why I didn't. But I love how the bats on that warmer kind of reflect on the on the wall. Um, I have a couple Halloween type warmers. We'll see what comes out in the fall new. And I noticed they had the Frankenstein. I should have got that, but I didn't. Just going to show you this warmer real quick. I'm not going to plug it in. Um, because I do want to get to this, um, the scent and warmer of the month. This is really cute. It's a nice ceramic. Beautiful dish on that. Little jack-o'-lantern. That's cute. It's very cute. So yeah, like I said, that second time in was, it really wasn't anything spectacular. Um, you know, as I said before, for me, the very best flash sale that they had, well, for as long as I've been doing this, which hasn't been long, was the one that they did in the fall. That was, that was insane. The warmers that they had in that flash sale, the Christmas warmers, um, the bars were individual. You could pick and choose what you wanted. I'm hoping we get another flash sale like that. Um, this one was just okay. If you were a Disney collector, the, they had a ton of Disney stuff, the warmers. And those were a really good buy. But anyway, let's talk about the scent and warmer of the month. And it's funny because I tried to offer this as an early access to one of my anybody in my VIP group that wanted it before it was released, um, because again, sometimes you know if you don't see things, like when you're only looking at like the flyers that come out from Sensi, sometimes they don't look as nice, and you're like, eh. you know, I did that with the winter retreat warmer, which I ended up getting, and it was beautiful. I got the lighthouse. I absolutely love the lighthouse. Um, in this one here, this is, this is gorgeous. I can't wait to put it out. Let me get the other stuff. So with the Scentsy Scent and Warmer of the Month subscription, if you're a consultant, we do get the early access releases the 15th of the month prior to the release date. We get the warmer. We get, I think it's 72 of these rub and sniff stickers. Sorry, I have to bend over here we get I don't know how many are in here is it 50 or 25 I don't remember we get a packet of the um, brochures it looks like this it's all the details everything that's in the and we get eight bars of the scent okay so let's start out with the actual warmer. Now I did set this up already and got it ready to go. And I'm glad I did because it was packaged really well. It was like a sandwich between the styrofoam wrapped up with like a cellophane around it and vertically as well. Okay, so here it is. It is, and it's an Edison bulb in here, which I did not know that since it comes with the, ooh, the warming dish, four cubes, it's a good size dish. All right. This is gorgeous. It is so pretty. It's like beach glass. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And what I did notice here, too, as I was on getting it set up, is normally there's a cutout for the cord. This one there isn't because there's four, I'm sorry, I can't count. There's three feet, glass feet on the bottom. I don't know if you could see it if I turn it sideways. So this kind of sits up a little bit. Whereas normally 
there'd be like a little notch for the cord to, but it doesn't need that because with those feet there, the cord doesn't get in the way. Okay. Let's look at this though. Let's take a little, before I turn it on, let's get up close and personal to it. So we've got these little glass tiles in here, right? And then there's like grout in between the glass tiles. And it does, it's like beach glass. It's blues and greens. You could even see some peachy colors, depending on the way it's turning. Peachy pink. Yeah, this is so pretty. See that? See how there's like different colors, even though it's mainly the blue and green. It's like sea green, like the Caribbean. It's so beautiful. This is really, really pretty. All right. We're going to light it up now. I am going to turn my ring light off. It's getting a little darker here. I'm having a hard time with this cord today. Okay. Oh, look at that. This is so beautiful. This is really pretty. I'm trying to see if it's casting a slight reflection. Nothing, you know, um, outstanding. But it does have like a reflection. I bet this has a beautiful glow when the lights are off. It's showing a little more blue in the camera than in person. In person, it's more of a an aqua color, not so blue. I'd say it's like aqua. It looks like the ocean. And what's really interesting is when you look at this, it almost, there's like the little tiles. I don't know if you could see here. See this? how it looks um, like there's something there. Well, when you're looking at it in person, it has like, um, I don't want to call it dirty. <laughs> That's not the right word to use. It looks like it was a jar that has been sitting out, um, washed up on shore maybe. It has like a, uh, a weathered look to it. Yeah, this is really nice. Like I'm looking here. Maybe you could see it there, what I'm trying to say. See how this is kind of... I'm trying to let me block that light out a little bit. I don't know if you could see that. But it's like... Yeah. Dirty is not the right word. Okay? It doesn't look dirty. It looks weathered. It looks antique -y. Um... It looks like it's been sitting on the beach, like made of beach glass that's been sitting there for, you know, getting weathered and in the salty air. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. Really pretty. I'm not sure. I It's going to go in my living room. I just, I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. I'm not sure. You know, this is going to, it'll kind of go nice with, um, the lighthouse and the coastal light warmer and I have both of those and I have those set up together this kind of falls right into play with, with, that, with that look yeah this is really nice I didn't have to play around with this one where I'm thinking it's going to look best. But I do like it. It's beautiful. So beautiful. Okay. So that is our warmer of the month. And it is called. I'll give you some more details on it here. Let me just put it down. Turn it off. Turn my light back on. Okay. down. 
Okay, so the warmer of the month is called On the Seashore. Yeah, it's like it's like a bottle that washed up on shore and you rinse it out and it's all like oh. Yeah, I hope I hope that those details come through. Okay, so the the name of the warmer is called On the Seashore. And it is seven and a half inches tall, so it's a good size. It's not a small warmer. And it is a 40 watt Edison bulb warmer. And it says, hand-placed glass tiles capture the deep turquoise hues and subtle brown accents where the sea meets the sand. Perfect. It's, it's an excellent description. Okay, so this warmer will be for the month of June. It'll be $54, so it's 10% off. The regular price will be $60. So if it doesn't sell out, it'll be available after June through the summer. Um... Well, I think they pull after so many, I don't know how many months, but it'll be $60 if you want to purchase it later. Okay. So now let's go to our, what's the um, scent of the month? The scent of the month is called Pacific Mist. Now, I know we got a sample of this in our whiff box. I did not smell that sample because I gave my whiff box to my awesome customer who bought everything double in Beauty of the Beast. So, um, I did not smell this yet. So, let's take a smell. I'm hoping, because I do like those aquatic, oh, I can smell it already. Oh, okay. I like this. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, this is a this is a win winner for me. Oh, that's so beautiful. What is this? It's I can't even describe the scent notes in here because I really don't know. I can tell you it smells pretty. I'm going to read the scent notes, and then I'll be able to talk about it more. Because, yeah, I'm just not good at it. Well, you know what? I should have just said that because I was going to say I smell salty in here. So it's coastal sea salt, a touch of tropical ne nectar, and driftwood is our base note. Mid-note touch of tropical nectar, and the top note is coastal sea salt. And it says, misty ocean air wafts through coastal sea salt and driftwood, with a buoyant touch of tropical nectar. And it's in the Fragrance Family Fresh. Now, this is also on sale, 10% off. So the, this bar for the entire month is $5.40. Also, the room spray is $7.20. And the scent circles are $2.70. Yes, there is a sweetness to the bar. Salty, sweet. That perfumey note must be the driftwood. That's beautiful. I like this one a lot. Damn. Yeah, this is nice. I can't wait to warm it. I'm looking forward to warming this. In fact, I was going to bring that one bar to work with me tomorrow, but I think I'm going to bring Pacific Mist with me. Because I really want to smell this. And then I'll warm it at work, and then the people at work could smell it too, right? Win-win. Yeah. Yeah, overall, this is a, this is a nice scent and warmer of the month package. I'm very happy with it. Um, I'm trying to think out of the scents of the month. Now, cinnamon pine cones was good. Then they had the orange and evergreen, but again, I'm not much of a tree person, so that didn't excite me. Um, I'm trying to think what other scents were available. Oh, warm pumpkin drizzle. I like that one. That was a great one for me. This one's good. The other ones were just okay for me. Um, I like this one a lot. So again, 
our set and warmer of the month. Here's another look at it. So pretty. So, so pretty. And like I said, in person, it looks like a weathered, when the light's on and it comes through, it almost looks a little weathered. Yeah. This is really nice. I like this one. I just really feel like this would go so lovely with the coastal light and light, light, light the way. Light your way, light the way. The lighthouse warmer. Because it just, it has all that beachy vibe. And I just bought some like little beach grass plants, but one of them I'm using in another place. And now I don't, I need another one. I guess I'll have to go back to um, at home store. Okay, so there's our warmer, and the warmer is on the seashore. Our scent is Pacific Mist, and this one's very, very pretty, you guys. Okay, on sale for the month of June. So this will be available on June 1st to the public, and if you're a consultant, let me know what you think of the scent and the uh, warmer that we got. All right, guys. So I, like I said, I don't know if this is going to upload tonight. So maybe tomorrow. So please, I'm not wearing the same shirt the next two days in a row. <laughs> okay. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your time. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you are not a consultant and you would like to have or purchase I would like to be your consultant, and my information is in the description, but I'm still having trouble talking tonight. My information is in the description box below. Either way, have a great night, everybody, and I will talk to you really soon. Bye-bye.